10's all-time leading scorer in women's basketball now has the opportunity to be the NCAA's all-time leading scorer in women's basketball. I'm talking about Caitlin Clark, eight points away. Caitlin Clark woke up with a ton of energy this morning. She says it's like the first day of school feeling where you're anxious, but also really excited. We could go on and on about what Caitlin Clark has done for the game of women's basketball, but tonight she is eight points away from cementing herself in the history of the game. We have a treat for you tonight. We have an alternate view available for tonight's game. We're calling it the Caitlin Cast. You can follow Caitlin Clark around the entire game. Wherever she goes on that court, our cameras will have an ISO shot. You can look for that option right here on Peacock. This game, talk of the town, Megan. We land at the airport. All anyone could mention was Caitlin Clark and the Hawkeyes. 22 and three on the season, 10 and one in this building. Number four in the country, taking on the Michigan Wolverines. You see her family there. One of her brothers is away from school for this. I think this is a good excuse to miss school. Absolutely, to see your sister do that. Six points away from an NCAA record. We'll keep counting it. First possession for the Wolverines. This is a team, seven and six in conference play. Middle of the pack here in the Big Ten. Felia looking for some help. She elevates tie game. That's what makes Layla Felia so dangerous. She can elevate and shoot over people without them being able to contest. And it's still keep posting up, but you know who they go to. 22 from the outside. Oh, this is gonna happen quick. She is three away, just a bucket. A layup if you're Caitlin Clark. Three points away because she already has two buckets so far. Well, this is where she's so good. Deceptively quick. She has every move in the bag where she can continually read the defense on the move. And then the three in rhythm, feet set. So Recovered by Gabby Marshall. Here comes Clark. How will she go for history? There it is! The all-time leading scorer in women's college basketball. This crowd, wow, in only ways that Caitlin can. get another look at she said she wanted to get it from the logo this Caitlin Clark on a mission the most Caitlin Clark way to get a bucket I mean we are talking well inside the middle of the Mediacom logo you have a hand down when she crosses half court Caitlin Clark has been making people pay since her freshman year in Iowa City this shot is an elite shot a layup for Caitlin Clark nobody else in the country that's an elite shot for there are different rules for Caitlin Clark her family's reaction, <laughs> Megan. Her mom, Anne, said she might even cry. Wow, her two brothers there. They have been there every step of the way. From her freshman year, when it was COVID and nobody was allowed in the gym but cardboard cutouts, to now they have been at everything, away games. It is so special to be able to do this in front of your family. We talked to Caitlin and she said, I think it's going to be real after the game when I get to celebrate with my family. And she would not be there without their support 
and this is so much more than just Caitlin Clark's accomplishment. That family is huge behind her. The Iowa native who had a choice on where she wanted to play college basketball and decided that she wanted That's to tie Arkin. Two high school teammates going against each other right there. Gabby Marshall, Layla Filia, Stolke converts. A little volley with the basketball. Caitlin Clark's favorite. Clark, trying to go for more. Yes! That's an and one opportunity. Iowa is coming off this loss to Nebraska, and they were angry with how that game ended. And they have come out on fire. Caitlin Clark using her vision, arguably the most valuable part of her game, that ability to get the ball in her teammates' hands in positions to score. And she can also keep it for herself, understands angles at a high level. Loves these situations. She times them out, sets her feet, catch. coming off a massive game for Michigan. She was 23 points, three rebounds. Again! Stop it! Get out of here! <laughs> I mean, people are surprised, but should we? We're trying to talk about Michigan. Caitlin Clark's not letting us right now. She is putting on a complete and utter show. That's the same spot she broke the record with, by the way, folks. Layup, and that's her. Two points per game. I'm not great at math, but I use a calculator sometimes. That's four and a half games. Keep it coming. Clark's going for it. 21 points already for the young woman with the basketball. Gets it to Martin somehow. Martin laughing her go. Look at this. One, two, boom. That's her shot. The step back from right to left and the assist. Thread the needle. Kate Martin catching that in traffic. Boom. She's even laughing. She's gotten the ball inside every single possession almost. They've had it. Iowa right, playing zone about 15% of the time. It leads to a fast break. She's at 23. We'll keep counting. Because remember, we're, we're coming off a loss, and we've got goals here. We want to win this basketball game. How about 23 first quarter points? I mean, are you Slicing. kidding me? Five assists already. Nonetheless, we're able to get it off. Clark serving. She looked at the basket. How'd she get it down to Stolke? It's perhaps the most underrated part of Clark's wow. still somehow finding her balance. It's up. It's good. Good shot, Caitlin. Six for eight. Clark to the rim. A blue jersey has to come over and help to cut off that angle. And this is a mental mistake right here. It happens more often than not when you go to throw in the ball and you step over the line. That's a mental mistake and an error that Michigan has to clean up. Well, and if you're Michigan, it was a five-point basketball game and momentum is so important. You want to go into the half feeling good. 10-point game, 112 to go. Went off here, you can watch the For a 22-year-old to put all of this into perspective and shout out her teammates as she goes for a 30-piece. 31, start of the third quarter. And mom loves it. All inside, but it's difficult to have success against Caitlin Clark when she gets the ball in these types of situations. A little bit of a handoff. You can't go under any sort of... And still finding ways to score. Nebraska played a box in Morgan Clark. There'll be more of a formal celebration once this game ends. Clark keeps coming. 38. Add it to the total. Calling for a horn set. Bobbles it. Taken away by Iowa. Caitlin Clark asking for the basketball. Slices it down with the bounce pass before the buzzer. Double, double. 
for CC. Iowa has absolutely torched Michigan with fast break points, 22 as a team. And Caitlin Clark makes that look so easy, slicing and dicing, finished by O'Grady. Iowa in total control, headed into the fourth. Clark has Woodson on her. Will step back and goes right back to the cup. Oh! Talking about hot sauce, that's spicy. Putting them on skates. Clark's ability also to keep her dribble. They go through O'Grady. Caitlin Clark will pump fake. Gets it right back down low. We talk about things that are translatable over to the next level. Caitlin Clark's vision on the floor is one of the most valuable aspects of her game for the WNBA. Her eye, she's looking forward, but then at the last second, boom, like a no-look pass. Gets O'Grady in a position to score down low. The NCAA tournament team there. You have a resume boosting signature win against Ohio State earlier this season. A new career high. A new Iowa women's basketball record. We're going for them all. 49 points after that triple. Her ninth three pointer. A rim run in Stolke. That it could not be more in rhythm for Caitlin Clark coming off. One, two step, Sierra style, shoulder squared, feet set. And she just set all sorts of records this evening. Of course, at the top of the scoring list in the NCAA for women's college basketball. Career high in points, 49. Tied a career high from the three-point line, nine threes. She was also under the weather a little bit this week. Sniffles. And of course, in Caitlin fashion, didn't want to talk about it because she said, that's not an excuse. She had come into this game all time in the Big Ten in points and assists. As she would be for herself, that's my observation on the replay. Uh, I could play it before. Kate Martin looked at Caitlin Clark and was like, you good? Take a breath. But look, you gotta play with passion. That people don't realize this is, becomes your life. You're so passionate and in it with your teammates. I mean, it is a big deal. It is that emotional because you are going to battle every single day with your team. And how about those two right there? You're looking at on your screen, 49 points and 47 a couple of days ago. I mean, we're gonna have to change the rims, the nets in Carver Hawkeye because it's been a lightning. Hawk. Caitlin Clark's night in all ways. The game ball in hand. The night she made history. And not only made history as the all-time Division I women's basketball leading scorer, but 49 points, a career high for Caitlin Clark. 50% from the three-point line. They're playing a box and one on her. <laughs> Still finds a way. And the celebrations continue. You see no one is going anywhere. Because it's time for it to soak in. Caitlin Clark said she didn't know when she was going to really feel it all. Caroline is with the woman of the evening.
for Caitlin. You told us earlier today you weren't sure when this was going to sink in. How much has it sunk in so far? It's pretty unreal. This crowd's unreal. I'm just really grateful, honestly, um, to be able to be here and like make so many of my dreams come true with so many amazing people that have supported me, whether it's my coaches, my teammates, my family. Um, I'm just, you know, filled with a lot of gratitude. You mentioned this crowd. You play in sold out arenas everywhere you go, but you've got to break this record here at home, two hours from where you grew up. How special is that? It's so special. You know, these fans deserve it. They've supported me since I stepped on campus and uh, we had big dreams and big aspirations and we achieved a lot, but you know, we're not done. Uh, we're still looking for a little more and um, I'm proud of our group. I thought we came out and battled well. And Michigan played well. They made some tough shots, uh, but I thought we responded well and, and closed out the win. Your teammates are now all wearing Caitlin Clark shirts. How much does their support mean to you? Uh, they're the cutest. I'm so lucky to be surrounded by people that support me and want me to be the best every single day. And um, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be Caitlin Clark. So they're just as much a part of it as I am. And I seriously love them to death. And I, like I said earlier, I'd run through fire for those girls. You always talk about being a young girl who just loved the game of basketball. If she could see you now, what do you think she'd say? Uh, never stop dreaming because you can achieve way more than you ever thought. And, you know, I got to live that every single day. So, um, and I still keep dreaming. And I'm 22 years old, so never stop. Thank you, Caitlin. Congratulations. Never stop dreaming. Everyone in the stands inspired by what she can do. Look at everyone just. No one's left the building at all. And what's cool is you have so many young girls in here. Young girls. You are getting to watch this and see I can be like this one day, and that's special. Caroline is with Coach Bluter. Coach, earlier today, you described this as surreal. How would you describe what's happening right now? Well, you know, all these great Hawkeye fans are here to help us celebrate this unbelievable event, and I'm so happy for Caitlin. I mean, not only does she go over the top of the scoring record, but she has 49 tonight. So when you do it, you do it well, girl. You said yesterday you were curious to see how many more she would score. What do you think of a new career high and a program record? Yeah, I mean, she picked a great night to do it. You know, we're going to celebrate Caitlin tonight because she deserves it. The, what she's done to uplift our program and women's basketball nationally is spectacular. And so I love that she hit a logo three to put her over the top, too. What does this mean to your program, Coach? Um. You know, I mean, it's just the, the, the attention that the fans that have come out and supported us and, you know, this record's going to stand for a long time. And I'm just so glad she's wearing black and gold. Thank you, Lisa. Congrats to all of you. Thank you. Always amazing perspective from Lisa Bluter. Bluter, who's so candid, too, and talking about Caitlin Clark, saying, I actually had to adjust the way I coached when it came to Caitlin Clark, as you hear the crowd uh -oh. saying one more year. She does have that COVID year left. She could potentially come back and do it all over again. Caitlin Clark not discussing her decision publicly. What she has said is no matter what, she wants to soak up this season. And they only have four conference games left. Well, this right now is a special moment to soak up. 49 points, an NCAA record, and all she talks about is her teammates. And you know who I feel like she may be going to? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> the fam. Oh, a hug from her brother and her mom, Ann. She 
said to us, you know, it will feel real when I get to see my family after. And this is that moment where it may have sunk in. an historic night in Carver Hawkeye Arena. Please direct your attention to the video boards for a special message from Caitlin's coaches, Caitlin's friends, her family, and her teammates. Caitlin Clark. Congratulations, love you so much. Huge milestone, huge number. But remember, it's all the smiles, memories, and so many special moments that are behind that number that are yours for a lifetime. Thank you for letting us be along for the journey. It's been awesome. Hey, Caitlin, congrats on becoming the all-time leading scorer in women's basketball history. I'll never forget all the blood, sweat, and tears we shed together, whether playing in the driveway, at the gym, or on the mini hoop in the basement. It's been a privilege growing up with you and watching you mature, not only as an athlete, but as a human being and ambassador for the women's sports. Can't wait to watch you do amazing things in the future, especially growing the WNBA. Love you. Congratulations, Caitlin. What an incredible achievement and an awesome testament to all the work, the passion, the love, and the joy that you brought to the court your whole life. Um, we're so proud of you. We know this is just the beginning of what's becoming a fantastic career. Uh, we'll always be more proud though of how you carry yourself with humility and joy and just remaining grounded and down to earth with all that's come with records like this and the lot of other ones you've amassed over the last few years. Um, continue to be the great person, the great leader you are and lead this game into the future. Proud of you, love you always. Congratulations, Caitlin. You're the best. We love you. Good luck for the rest of the seasons to you and the girls. Go Hawks. You are truly one of the hardest workers I've ever met. Um, being your teammate was so much fun, and I'm so proud of you. We all knew you could do it. Go celebrate. Love you. Congratulations. Shout out to you, homie. Caitlin, I mean, where do you start? 
You know, there's a lot of times people throw the term goat around, uh, but in your case, uh, with this type of accomplishment, uh, there is no doubt that you are certainly the greatest of all time when it comes to this mark and in so many other ways. And we are so happy for you, and we're just so thankful you chose to be a hawk, and um, we're just so impressed with the way you have achieved and succeeded here and always kept your your fun and your passion and we're just so happy for you and here's to the next gazillion points that you're going to score. Caitlin, I'm so proud of you. This is an incredible achievement, an incredible moment for you and for our program. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to coach you and for being a great Hawkeye. Let's hear it for Caitlin Clark's family, friends, and coaches! Let's relive some of the moments from her 3,569 points! She's absolutely positively phenomenal. You want to watch the best shooter in college basketball, men or women, is Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark drives the lane, right-handed lay off of the glass is good. First point. And a Hawkeye uniform. Caitlin Clark, fire. How did out of her fingertips? She is the step of
And then if you're gonna go, you might as well keep going and get 49, so. No, I know that all of you are thankful that you've been able to support her, and we're so thankful that we had the opportunity to coach her. She's special, you guys all know it, and I can't appreciate, I can't say thank you enough to all of you that have been behind 22, but also been behind the Iowa Hawkeyes all year long, so thank you so much. Well, Caitlin, I think I speak for fans across the nation, across the globe. Thank you for elevating women's athletics in the way that you have. And thank you for being a Hawkeye. We love having you in the black and gold, that is for sure. I mean, if you can, how are you feeling right now? I'm just really grateful. Um, thankful for everybody that came out tonight and supports our team night in and night out. Um, this wouldn't be possible if it isn't for these girls standing right here, my coaches. My fam who's over here, um, they let me be me every single day, and um, I'm just lucky I get to wear Iowa on my chest, and Coach Bluter lets me be Caitlin, and um, yeah, I'm just really grateful, but we got a lot more winning to do, so let's go! I appreciate y'all! Let's hear it for number 22, ultimate celebration for the ultimate competitor and show woman. We've been saying history all night long, but Megan, we gotta end this with a her story. Women's basketball has arrived. And there have been many greats to come before Caitlin Clark, and she is just the next one to continue climbing the ladder. And what a way to do it. Her impact is going to be felt for generations to come. This is one of the most special nights to be in the building at Carver Hawkeye as you see somebody do what not many have ever been able to do before her. You break it, you own it. Caitlin Clark owns everything she does, including the women's basketball NCAA all-time scoring record. 106.89, 49 from Caitlin Clark, Resource Stevenson, Megan McEwen, our producer, our director, we appreciate you all. Back to the studio. Thank you guys very much. We enjoyed it. Caitlin Clark was chasing history. Now she's made history. Wonderful moment with her family, her friends, her teammates, who she's so close with. They've watched her grow and mature. She's a leader on this team now. And this moment completely belongs to her, and she deserves every minute of it. She needed only two minutes and 12 seconds at the start of the game to put up eight points and break this record. And now a lot of people are already talking about the NCAA Division I scoring record across both the men's and the women's game, held by Pete Maravich. He scored 3,667 career points.